Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna find out a new spirit guide that you, that was rude. A new spirit guide coming in. Uh, we're gonna find out why they're in your life, their personality, some traits, uh, how you can connect with them better. We're just gonna really go into detail about a new spirit guide that's entering your life, okay? Uh, so pile one is a selenite, pile two is a red jasper, and then pile three is the blue calcite. If you guys want a personal with me, all the information is in the description. Let's get started with your reading, guys. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here today. So let's start with your reading, pile one, those who chose a selenite crystal. Who is coming into your life soon on your spirit team? Okay, who's somebody very important? Um, I was getting messages that all of us are going through a spirit guide change, um, changing of the guards, I guess you would say. But um, yeah, there's gonna be multiple, but this is one that's really crucial, okay? So, ooh, we have the hermit. Overall energy is the hermit. You could be a Virgo. Okay, so their personality, fear, cosmic egg, movement choices and decision decisions. Okay, so with fear, I'm kind of getting they help you see through illusions about people because you've been in hermit mode for a really long time is what I'm getting pile one. You've been alone for a while. And it's almost like you want to come out of hiding. 222 could be important here. You want to come out of hiding. You want to start exploring things and telling people like what it is you've learned. Um, their personality is kind of like yours. They kind of mirror a hermit energy too. Um, this, person, this spirit guide is incredibly wise, okay? They know a lot of truth. They know a lot of esoteric knowledge, this spirit guide of yours. I also just heard this person was persecuted in a past life. This spirit guide was on earth before. They were persecuted in a past life. I heard which. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wow. Um, Seven of Swords. Yes. This person was backstabbed in a past life. It's a, it, it, I'm, 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 I'm getting it's a woman. There is a woman, spirit guide that you have. This is a witch, a witch, okay? When they were alive, they were a witch. They knew a lot about, I heard double trouble, toil and wait, double, whatever, I'm hearing the witch from um, Hocus Pocus. Something, something, toil and trouble or whatever. I don't know, I can't think of it right now. Their personality. They're very slick and cunning, but not in a not in a um, a way that would make you yeah the high priestess not not in a bad way, just in a way that is like they can tell and smell bullshit from a mile away. Anybody that's trying to hurt you out of hermit mode, anybody, and I mean anybody that is trying to hurt you for your beliefs, sabotage your efforts. This person was so wise in, in real life, like in, 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 the, in, in the world, when they were on earth, that they have the gifts of being able to see, like, trickster spirits, yeah. So their personality, like I said, the Seven of Swords, they're, they're into, like, esotericism. They're into, like, the occult, right? Divination, for sure. Their, their personality is... Like this, this would be a really cool witchy friend if they were alive, but it's, it's obviously not, they're not alive in that they're in your physical world, but they are at your disposal anytime you need them. This is so cool, guys. This is such a great reading to do today. Okay, they're always there. They're always there. They're always watching. I heard that this was a witch in a past life. When they were alive, this was a witch. Personality, personality. Yeah. Very uh, closeted as well. When this, when this practicing witch was a witch, this was somebody who like really just kind of maybe lived in the woods or in a hut or <laughs> like really gypsy nomad kind of energy is what I'm getting here. Still, that's their personality. Very off the radar. Kind of hush hush, still very secretive. So they're gonna, they, they have like this, 
this way of making sure you're protected. You're very safe here with the selenite, a great protective stone. They're gonna make sure that you're incredibly safe and protected as you gain more knowledge about the real world. Because I feel like what happened with you guys is you guys might have been in hiding for a while. Mm -hmm, ten of swords. As I heard, you were removing swords from your back. And now you're going back out into the real world. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm hearing you need a witch who can help you with some witchy things. Ooh. God, I love this. Best reading. I'm so glad I decided to do this today. All right. So something that this, per this spirit guide enjoys doing. Transformation. Death card. Trust and the chariot. Trust, the death card, and chariot. Something we enjoy doing. Well, this is a card of travel. And I'm really getting <laughs> the weirdest message. This person loves to travel at night. They love to do things outside at night. So if you've been noticing lately, like you want to go outside and stargaze more or look at the moon or you feel more called to do something, yeah, at dark, at, at, at night. They love doing things at night, nighttime, outside, outdoors. Mm -hmm. Or if, if you're learning more about astrology right now, it's your spirit guide kind of trying to be like, maybe we should learn about this. It's kind of cool, kind of fun. transformation something about the underworld like like okay and, and scorpio energy here so virgo scorpio that's very cool that's a very cool combination because their personality um what do they enjoy doing they love to help people transform their mind they they this spirit guide loves to watch you get aha moments move forward trust yourself so you go from fear to trust yeah you go from fear to trust because they love helping empower you to trust yourself. If, if recently you guys thought that there was somebody like really messing with your energy and it was like the weirdest fucking energy ever and you don't know why this person showed up. What's, what's a card on that? <laughs> like a weirdo, like a weirdo, two of pentacles. They really wanted to show you, your spirit guide really wanted to show you like you see how protected you are. You see how much, you see how we've got this? We've got this. Bye. Like, like, yeah, Queen of Wands. Again, the witch. Here it is. You see how good we are? You see? You see? There's nothing to fear. Five of Wands. A lot of you keep bringing in people who are really causing, like, black magic in your life. Or, like, like, like you think that it's, it's happening. It's not anymore. It can't. It can't. This spirit guide is no, no fucking joke, okay? Very powerful. All right, let's see. This is going to be about their credentials. Why did you employ this spirit guide on your team right now? Why did you want them? What are they good at? Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior, Beginnings, and Heart Chakra. You, you have been in hermit mode so long that I think you might even be a little bit closed off to new partnerships, new love, stuff like that. And they really want to help you open your Heart Chakra. This spirit guide loves a lot. They, they do love, but they have good boundaries, okay? And they're very secluded. A very quiet, reserved kind of, if you need me, I'm here. You need the knowledge, I'm here, okay? But it's a new beginning in love for you right now. The number two and four is very important. I don't know why I'm getting two, 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 four, four, four. You could be seeing those numbers a lot or nine, 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 okay? That's a sign that they're on the way. If you're seeing these numbers a lot, okay? Yeah. It's that your heart, yeah, needs a little, needs, you know, it just needs a little TLC. Cause I mean, I mean, I don't know. I feel like when you were, when you were in the dark night of the soul, like, you know, it did a number on a lot of our hearts. So this person, this spirit guide, um, wants you to have an open heart chakra, but they first want you to be able to trust again. So they're in your life to show you that you can trust someone, them. 909 on the clock. See, nine is important too, I'm getting. Mm -hmm. The new moon, I think, is right now, guys, as I film. So 
the new moon beginnings here. Yeah, you're beginning something. And I was also getting that this witch, when they were alive, had a very spiritual union. Had a soulmate, a very loving relationship with someone. Okay, a very warm lover is what I'm hearing. Like just warm, loving, kind, kind, very generous. Um, and they really want to help you find the one, find the match for you as well. Okay, confirm that, please. Ace of Wands, yeah. They're, first of all, putting your heart back out there, right? Getting back on the dating scene, I'm hearing for some of you, making friends again. After being in the dark night of the soul, after being a hermit for a really long time, they want you to feel, well, excited. Excited again about love, about new things, new new adventures, okay? Um, the Emperor Two of Cups, guys, stop. Yeah. Yeah, this spirit guide was in a very loving partnership when they were alive. Some of you are meant to teach or lead, um, heal people right now, like out loud, like like publicly or something. And it's like, you've been in a cave, you've been in like under, living under a rock for so long that you have this fear of, of being different, being, being seen for being the weird one. But like, it's gonna be so fucking fun. <laughs> be the weird one. That's what this wish would say to you. Be the weird one. Um, this one's going to So what are their credentials? They have an open heart chakra and they're going to help you uh, with a new beginning in love, especially. And the reason that they are, they have those credentials, the, the reason that you wanted them is because they, they were a witch and they were in love. 11, 11 on the clock. So I feel pile one is trying to manifest somebody into your life when you're very um, spiritually inclined and you also want to publicly be in a relationship as this. That's why this spirit guide is in your life. So why are, yeah, why are you working together? Four of swords. I get another four, guys. It's crazy. Discernment. Damn, I'm good. And ace of pentacles. Because people are about to offer you a lot of shit, and you need discernment. Because you've been in hermit mode. Four of swords. Like, you've been resting a long-ass time. You're rusty. Okay, you're rusty. Is what I'm hearing. You're a little rusty. We need to work on some things. We need to get you back out there again. Get you back out there, right? Ready to go. This is such a cool spirit, guy. It's like it would be your best friend. Like this is this is like the coolest witch ever. Mm -hmm. Very cool. I heard enough with the shenanigans. Uh, yeah, if something doesn't taste right, it's not right. Don't drink something from somebody right now, guys, or something. Cause like that water. I don't know. That didn't, that didn't taste right. Something about like maybe a water sign is not to be trusted in your life right now. A cancer or a Scorpio maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's like be careful. Like don't take things from people right now. So, so this person is, why are you working together? So that they can teach you how to come out of the cave. Trust and rely on yourself because people are going to offer you something here with the Ace of Pentacles. A lot. A lot. A lot of energies are going to want to conspire with you in, in, work with you mm -hmm. collaborate but not all of them are good eggs okay that's what i'm hearing how can you get to know this spirit guide more nine of cups eight of wands partnerships and alliances and the power card how, do, how can you get to know them more this this spirit guide is so funny at parties. I'm hearing when you go out and you socialize and you're having fun, maybe even if you're tipsy. You're tipsy, if you, if you drink or you smoke, you could hear them better. It's something about how funny they are. They're very funny, very witty, quick-witted, very charming, but funny, like kind of not even a dry sense of humor, just like a, a very witchy sense of humor. How could I even word that? I don't know. But the power card here, this is what, this is what she is showing me she looks like. You guys could even connect with her by maybe drawing. I'm, I'm, I'm getting like, this is, this is her. At night, she loves the moon. She loves going outside. How could you connect with her more? Go outside. Go outside at nighttime. Mm-hmm. I heard if your dogs were acting weird or your, your animals or something, or you heard like dogs or a howling or something, um, that might've been this spirit guide getting the attention of the dogs around you at nighttime or something for somebody. Look, see, it's like, it's like you guys look the same. 
you might even have like this, you, look, all of these women are in dark clothing. Like you guys are just two peas in a pod. Like I actually think maybe you might've been in a past life with this woman. Wow. Yeah, this is a very cool witch, okay? Very cool, very cool, very cool. What was this question? This one was gonna be, how can you get to know her more? Outside, for sure. Also, partying, celebrating with people, meeting new people. Meeting new people, you'll get to know because you'll hear your spirit guide give you a joke and you'll relay it and you'll be like, shit, that was funny. That was honestly, legit, the funniest thing I've ever heard. I'm hearing her say, thank you, thought so. That's me, that's me. I'm fucking hilarious. This, this, this person is giving me like Lilith vibes. Dark feminine, all the way, all the way. So you're entering your dark feminine phase, which is why this spirit guide is needed in your life. Oh, it's so, you're gonna have so much fun. You're gonna have so much fun. Anytime you go out partying, celebrating with other people, speaking with other people, out there, out loud, speaking with people, this spirit guide will be just, I heard on your nuts. <laughs> okay. That was, I don't know. I feel like some of it is uncalled for maybe even, I'm not sure. Um, but whoever this spirit guide is, they say stuff like that all the time, but they they really say it seriously though. Like I'll be on your nuts about this. Okay. Okay, very cool. If that reading helped you, great. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Um, if it didn't, uh, okay. Go choose a different pile. But anyway, this person's really, really cool. They're hella invested in the esoteric esotericism, occult, um, divination, stuff like that. They're gonna help you explore more about that. Uh-huh, very cool. Um, all right, I heard the name Andy or Andrea, okay? And that's all, guys. Have a good one. Oh, and this person's a foodie as well. They love food. So if you want to leave some food on your altar for this person, they would love it. They would love it. She would love it. It's a she. It's a woman. Dark feminine energy, yeah. It's a she. Ooh. Cool. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Hello, everyone. Those who chose the red jasper, welcome to your reading. This message is for you right now as you enter a new phase of your life where you need new spirit guides. They're already coming in, pile two. They're already here. They're already here, right? Um, I heard clairvoyant. You could be um, entering a new phase where you're extremely clairvoyant. You're seeing images, people, places uh, are activating your third eye. I'm hearing the name Supreet or Capreet or something. Uh, I'm seeing P-R-E-E-T. Preet. Um, let's actually get your overall card that you chose the moon. Yes. Oh, yes. You're grounding your psychic abilities and your gifts and you need protection. You're grounding it into the 3D world. Whoa. Some of you, you know what? I'm actually getting here. Very mystical and magical. Just like pile one. I'm, I have a feeling all three are going to be like this. Something about your gifts right now you might even be getting paid for your gifts soon some of you might do this for work like yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um okay so the overall energy we have the moon here a very feminine energy comforting this is like a goddess your spirit guide is more of a goddess like Highly respected. Highly, highly respected. She is a, she is a goddess. This is a moon goddess? I don't know, it doesn't have to be moon goddess, but there is something here about like, getting something about like your your moon cycle if you're a woman your moon cycle like it, it, this this woman works with you during your cycle or something like you're you're so closely aligned like the, like the veil is thinner around your cycle or something like that I don't know I'm getting something about you guys can see images or you have more dreams or astral projections or something during your moon cycle I don't know. That was the weirdest message I've ever channeled. And I've said some weird shit, okay? But anyway, let's see. Um, 
Mm -hmm, the lovers. Ooh. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Their personality. Acceptance. Patience and planning. And the tarantula. Their person now. The first thing I got was, if you are a business owner, you want to do this for a living. The tarantula here, the spider, I'm getting like, you're, you're starting a business. Patience and planning. Your spirit guide is helping you bring in the right people, the right group. You're going to be accepting like money or help or energy from people, energy exchange, and that's why they're in your life. So their personality, they understand the light and the shadow, the dark and the light, the, um, the off season and the summer season. Like, something about your business, um, the spirit guide also would help you break through a lot of barriers when it comes to blockages in business. Like why you've been stuck or why you've been stagnant. You wanna work for yourself is what I'm hearing. Also, very independent. Your guide is so independent. Um, they they love, yes, Ten of Pentacles, they love when you're independent as well. Um, so they're telling me that you might have recently had um, something in business, like a failure in business or something like that. Um, and I'm hearing people don't need to watch it. They can look the fuck away. People don't like the way you shine, look the fuck away, click off. That's what I'm hearing, loud and clear. You see how these, these statues are looking away from the moon? They can't even look at the light. It's something about you're going through this growth spurt spiritually and in, in business as well and finance is what I'm hearing for some of you. And you're better off. Like I'm hearing good riddance. People can't even stand to be in your orbit. People can't even stand to be in your energy. Also, if, the, if, if, if you are an actress or a singer or you do something in showbiz, this is like a Marilyn Monroe type of spirit guide. So whoever this is has, has, has pull on the other side, on, in the spirit world to get you the, um, the, um, the, um, the, um, they work with people in Hollywood and stuff like that is what I'm trying to say. They, um, can hook you up, network. Networking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm hearing this is my girl. This is my girl. This is my girl. Isn't she beautiful? So on this, in the spirit world, this spirit guide is saying things like, this is my girl. Isn't she adorable? Hire her. Yeah. This is, this, this woman, and I really am getting a woman. I'm getting Marilyn Monroe type. Um, so far, there's been feminine spirit guides coming in for the collective. We're all entering our, you know, feminine glow up. So, I mean, it makes sense. But yeah, this one, this one is really good at um, helping you, like in showbiz, be spotted, be, be seen, be seen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I keep hearing, I, I, this, this spirit guide has no qualms about telling people like, if you can't stand it, honey, don't look. You don't like it, avert your eyes. Cause I don't give a fuck. Oh, I like this. I like this person a lot. Uh, I actually think that this spirit guide, I heard Roaring Twenties, was alive in the twenties. Mm-hmm. Hustle and bustle era. I, I, I don't know, I'm getting, I'm getting, ah, uh, oh, the queen of pentacles. They made money, they were rich. Very rich, very known very famous this was a famous person your spirit guide is a famous celebrity in the 20s showbiz mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. stage on stage in some way plays something like that and they're helping you now because well i feel like you guys do something very similar 
And I'm hearing it's who you rub elbows with. We want to help you rub elbows with the right ones. Get you in with the right ones. It's, <laughs> it's interesting. I'm getting that the same, like, okay, so like, if they were friends with famous and rich wealthy people in the 20s, their friends' kids are still in the business. So there's like contracts, they still have networking. They, they can still pull some strings to get you in somewhere, is what I'm getting. Like, I'm also seeing like Juilliard, I'm seeing piano, I'm seeing like it's something about you're an artist, you're, you're a creator, you're a, I heard a, a celebrity. Mm hmm A dancer, maybe? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, the magician? And the, oh, the high priestess? Yeah, I'm hearing, I can work my magic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you behind the, behind the, the, the curtain. Like, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna pull strings behind the curtain and get you. Something about Dorothy, Wizard of Oz. If you guys have been called to that, I don't know if this person was involved in the making of like in the 30s or 40s like whenever that was made i'm getting like the the magician here the spirit guide was in showbiz what that's fucking crazy this is awesome high priestess and the magician yeah it's like they can pull strings now to get you where you need to go because you're on like an express lane to celebrity status. Why, why is that? Seven of swords, eight of swords. You, you partnered up with somebody that was really bad for you in business. Or, or in stage, on stage or something, you partnered up with the wrong company, okay? Could be a traveling company. You partnered up with the wrong one and you got stuck for a while. So now this spirit guide is like, okay, so what they really need is me to get the right one, to find the right people, to hook up the right network, yeah. Whoa, guys, this is the coolest shit ever. I'm so happy I did this today. I just woke up and Spirit was like, do, do one on us, do one on us. And I was like, okay, well, that's a first. I've never done that before. I don't think, I don't think I've ever done this before. I love it. It's a little weird. Okay, no, a lot weird, but I'm here for it. Let's find out. This is gonna be is something they enjoy doing. I heard one, two, three. Four. So they love dancing. They love, I heard hip hop. No way. That's what I heard. Hip hop. Beginnings, fertility, six of pentacles. If you have kids or if you have like a small child in your life, they love that kid. Okay. So much. Also uh, a pet or something like, like a small, a small creature. <laughs> they love that baby or that pet. Okay. I heard Goo Goo Gaga, so it's definitely a child. Like, yeah. What do they enjoy doing? They love playing with kids. I just heard for somebody, this the spirit guy did not have a child when they were alive because they were so focused on work. So that might be why they're naturally gravitating towards your kids. Not This is a good thing, guys. This is a very good-hearted person. Five of Wands, Queen of Cups, they somehow were challenged in life with not being able to conceive. That's why they really, yeah, the Page of Swords is a child, like, like a kid. Yeah, that's why they gravitate towards your kid because they weren't able to have a baby when they were alive, okay? Um, but what do they enjoy doing? They love playing with kids, having fun. Five, six, seven, eight. They love also watching plays and movies and like Disney movies and stuff. Um, I really am getting movies, movies, especially the oldies. What am I seeing? I'm seeing um, Shirley Temple. I'm seeing um, Dorothy. I'm seeing Willy Wonka. I'm seeing like the old school shit, like old, old. I mean, that's not like that old, I don't think. Guys, that's not, I don't know. Um, just like not the remake so much. They love the old screen, the 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 old the old stuff. Interesting. 
So let's see, this is gonna be about their credentials. Why are you working with the spirit guide? Trust, this one came up in pile one as well. I swear to everything, I shuffled this. Moving on, and six of cups. You have six of pentacles and I got six of cups. What the fuck? About their credentials. Well, first of all, okay, this is a thespian is what I'm hearing. They, they're a thespian. They love acting. They love plays. They love musicals. <laughs> that's, that, um, yeah, all I'm getting is that's all that's needed. I love it and I have connections. You either want me or you don't. This person has such great self-esteem, okay? You either want me or you don't. You let me know. Something about like the um, the um, walk of, walk of, what is it? What is it when you, in Hollywood, those stars on the ground, the, the Hollywood stars. This is a Hollywood star. They're like, you either want me or you don't. You let me know. My credentials are, I'm here. Do you want the help or not? <laughs> Queen of Wands, you do not tell this person. No, you, you don't. Look, confidence, fucking radiating so much confidence. You can't make it up. She's the most confident queen for me in the deck. And I'm telling you right now, this woman's like, you either fucking want me or don't. Do you want my help or not? I'm not wasting my breath. Do you want me or not? That is the credential, confidence. Marilyn Monroe type, that's what I'm getting. Very confident, very alluring, very beautiful. Like, like, yeah, everybody adored this woman when she was alive, everyone. I'm getting Aquarius, or you could be an Aquarius North Node, or this woman could be an Aquarius, or you could. Mm -hmm. You're just really different, you're really different. There's something about you that's so different, and she recognizes it, and she knows that you need a little bit of help in getting to the right people to showcase your talent. But again, she's saying, I'm not here to force you. Do you want it? I'm here. If you don't, I'll leave. Like, she's very confident. Why are you working together? See, didn't I? No, that was their credentials. They're confident, that's all they need. Why are you working with her? Queen of Swords. That's, that's her. Mm -hmm. Didn't I just say Aquarius? There it is. Light and focus. I heard showbiz with this light card, like lights, camera, action, and I'm hearing you need to focus on the right ones. You need to focus on the right ones. So I'm the queen of swords that's bringing in the right ones for you. Very logical, gonna get you what you need, where you need it, how you need it. All you need to do is focus on the end result. Something about Lion King, I keep getting that. Lion King? A musical, like something like that. Um, she needs you to focus on being famous. She wants you famous. The spirit guides, the spirit guide wants you famous. She's like, I could do it. I could do it in the 20s. You can certainly do it with fucking internet. That's what I just heard. I could do it in the 20s. Wh what, like it's hard? She's, she's, look. Queen of Swords twice, like she's no joke. She's like, what, like it's hard? It's not hard to be famous, she's saying. It's hard to be famous when you keep saying you don't wanna be famous. She's like, I could do that shit with my hands behind my back in the 20s. Oh my God, no, that's what I heard. And look at this card with her hands behind her back in the 20s I'm hearing. I could do that then, I could do it now with the internet and TikTok. Hell yeah. She's confident as fuck. This is a queen of swords. This is an Aquarius. That's what I'm getting, okay? She's like, I could be famous in the 20s. <laughs> Please. One TikTok video and you're viral <laughs> anymore. And she's like, she's like, I got this. I got this. I can do it. Just give me permission and I'll, I'll hook you up. Hmm. The thespian, a total thespian. An actress all the way. Even on her low days, like even on her sad days, she was just so 
dra dramatic, like just, but just like in a good way. I heard the whole world like, lo yeah, loved her, loved her, loved her. Everybody in her world loved her. And you could have the same thing. If you focus on the light and you focus on doing this for light work, if you focus on being known for the right things, guys, be known for the right things, right? Less of the wrong things. We don't need that shit anymore. We need the right things. We don't need to sell our soul to the devil to be famous. Quite the opposite in the new age. You don't need to sell your soul at all. You need to liberate your soul to be famous in the new earth. Okay. Do you hear me? This is going to be how you can get to know her more. Ace of Pentacles. I heard the star, the star. Maybe if you go to Hollywood, le legit, if you go to Hollywood, if you go to wherever that is, I think it's LA, right? I don't know. I don't know. I'm undiscovered raw talent. She's discovered raw talent. So I don't know. If you go to Hollywood, you'll see her star, I think, on the Walk of Fame. Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> God, what ignorance. Look at this power. No, I'm not kidding. The unexpected. Didn't I just say I'm undiscovered raw talent? This, this woman is going to have you be ex like, you're unexpected. You're not what people are expecting. Mm, power. How can you get to know her more? Well, when you're famous, you'll know her. You'll know her. You'll know because like people will start rubbing elbows with you or people will be like, hey, I don't really know about you so much, but I trust you. I think I want to give you a shot. Let me give you a record deal or let me do this or whatever. I mean, guys, again, I don't even think you need to sign your soul away to be famous. You don't. Um, not saying that that's what record deals, not all of them. I don't know. Shit, I don't know. I didn't even know it was the walk of fame. Don't, don't ask me. I don't know. You know who would know? Your spirit guide. She knows her shit. I'm feeling like you could get to know her when you're actually well known. You'll know her more then. You're gonna start noticing how people, places, and, and situations, events, parties, VIP, like you're gonna start rubbing elbows with the right people and you're gonna be like, this is, that was a little too easy. Exactly, exactly. Because you're focused on the light. She wants to help the world shine bright. Very cool. Any other message here? Cage of Wands. Ah, oh, Ace of Pentacles again. I heard yellow, follow the yellow brick road. That's what I heard. I saw this. I didn't even see this yet. I heard follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. And that's what I'm getting. It's like, it's some about, some about like, this could literally be the actress Dorothy. I don't know what her name was. Judy Garland. Guys, I swear to everything, if that is, if that is for real, was Judy Garland in Aquarius? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, and I'm seeing roses being thrown on stage. I'm seeing, you're a thespian here with the, with the, yeah. You, I'm hearing you'll know her when you get to meet her messengers that she sends in who are like recording artists or other celebrities or, you know, people in the business. These messengers that come in that offer and hand you things, that's how you're going to get to know her. That's how you'll know her better because you'll know that she did that. Wow. This is so fun. By far my favorite reading I've ever given ever in my life. I love it. For real, if your spirit guide, if your spirit guide is Judy Garland, I just want. Let me, let me see if I can get if an if an ace comes up, I'll know it's a yes. Judgment. Well, it is not everybody has Judy Garland as their spirit guide, so okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> But yeah, no, okay, so some of you um, might get to work with someone like Judy Garland. Some of you very famous in her own right. She was famous in her own right. She's like, we can do this now in the 21st century with fucking internet. It's so much easier now. She's like, we've got TikTok. 
<laughs> That's awesome. Guys, coolest thing ever. Coolest thing. I'm eager to see if somebody wants to comment about the baby thing because she's saying that she, your baby might even see her sometimes or something. So if you like, if your if your kid started like laughing or giggling, or just like looking up at the, like just recently maybe. Yeah, that might be why. Anyway, super cool reading, guys. So fun, so fun. If you want a personal with me, all the information is down in the description. Good luck to you uh, working for the light. You don't need to tell your soul. Do you understand? Devil can go fuck himself. Thank you for being here. I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. Welcome to your reading, Those Who Chose Pile 3, The Blue Calcite. We're going to do a very fun reading today. It's just amazing. I, I, this is by far my favorite reading I've ever done. And it's, I've, I've done a shit ton of readings. By far my favorite. It's, it's a little risky. And then I'm sure a lot of people would think I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. But you think I give a shit? Your overall, oh, look, I don't give a shit. And I don't think you do either. Look at this, the sun. Your overall energy, the sun. Love it. Love it. I heard happier times. Happier days are ahead. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Happier days, guys. Sad days are over, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Um, oh shit, I forgot to shuffle cards first. Yeah, oh my God, look, release. You're releasing so much baggage, so much darkness. You guys are done, you guys are done. An entire phase of your life is over, pile three, is what I'm getting for you. Oh my God, change, see? You can't make it up. Number 22 could be important, or you could be 35, 22, or 19. Um, or maybe born on those days or something. But yeah, no, listen, you guys are done. Done. That's all she wrote. Done. Oh my God. I think that you guys need to be aware of a lot of things, Pile 3. So I will get to the spirit guide thing, but I'm hoping you can just bear with me as I get a couple messages from you, from your guides first before um, I tell you about them. I want to tell you about you. The dog days are over. The, the sad days are over. Just, it's over, guys. It's over. I think you were being possessed or some shit. I don't know. What I'm hearing is like a masculine was following you around. Like, and, and, and you don't want anything to do with them. I'm hearing they got the memo. They're getting the memo. Could be a Leo. Heard the name Troy. And I'm also hearing Joy as well. People are starting to get the memo about you, pile. What shit? What are we on? Pile three. People are starting to get the memo about you. Not to fuck around. That you're a real one. That's what I heard. You're a real one. Fuck around. What's the saying? Fuck around. Learn today. No, that's not the saying. But it is now. Fuck around. Find out. People are starting to see like you're not one to be played with. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. But you do have good news coming in. I want to get a little bit about that. What's coming in? Pile three. Three of Pentacles, High Priestess. So a lot of spirit guides. It's not just one. It's a lot of spirit guides coming in um, to help you really with business right now. Also um, um, with money. Like some of you might not be business entrepreneurs, but some of you are getting some sort of inheritance or some sort of money. And these guides are coming into your life so that you can do really good things with it. Oh my God, this side bitch on the split. Also what I'm hearing is you have a lot of energy anymore. You're like a fireball and you're gonna need to know how to invest that energy into something, right? You're not investing it into a someone anymore, you're investing it into you and projects. So now you have a spirit guide, spirit team coming in to make sure that you stay laser fucking focused on putting this energy towards something that's gonna benefit you, okay? And your ancestors, I heard, and your lineage, okay? Shit. So yeah, uh, you have a ton of spirit guides coming in. It's not just one, all right? But let's let's see. Um, a new spirit guide for you. What is their personality like? I, I hope this is the bear. I don't think it is, but I'm, I just saw that in my mind's eye. The gazelle. Oh, the sun. Look. Ooh, masculine king of cups. Lord Jesus. This is the first reading where it's a masculine. Could even be your soulmate or twin flames higher self. Oh, shit. Because the sun is masculine energy, right? The sun gives. I, I'm feeling like this person. 
and I was getting bare, they're very protective of you. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's your soulmate. Guys, you're shut up right now. Spirit, don't play games with me. Is this for real? Strength and the emperor, bitch, come on. Strength, devil, emperor, and death. This emperor of yours is so, so protective of you in the spirit world and also in the 3D. Like this is, you know what it is? I think it's twin flame union. Queen of wands. Maybe you're a Leo. Page of cups, Snyder go. Honey, dang, girl. You got so much good stuff coming in, okay? Um, lunar God, like whoever this is, they are a God, okay? Their personality, very charming, very romantic. This, this person's higher self sends you like the most beautiful lyrics, most beautiful songs, most... You are falling in love with God. You are in love with God. You are in love with your higher self. You are in love with their higher self. You are in love with the divine, okay? You are in love with this person's divine higher self. Some about music, they love sending you music. They love sending you music. They love it. They love when you, when you feel inclined to turn on the radio and like you just happen to hear a song come on right then and it, it's from them. <gasps> Queen of Cups to the King of Cups. Girl, stop, it's your fucking twin flame. It's your 20 poo. I heard Martin. The name Martin. Ooh, you're new. Well, it's not new. This person's been your spirit guide for a really long time. Um, it's just that what's changing is you guys get to be just, I don't know what's changing. What's changing about this then? King of Pentacles. They're so protective. Very, like a bear, like a bear. Like they protect you, they shield you, they, wow. Very masculine, very masculine. You know what? I actually think this person was in their receptive feminine energy, like really like kind of passive, but now they're not. Ten of Swords, they went through some sort of like betrayal, heartbreak, ego death. Ooh, I, I got scared just now. The dog upstairs scared the shit out of me. Whatever it was, it scared them. It, it might even been that they thought you were getting away from them. Judgment, whatever it was. Honey, they went to God. Your counterpart had like a near-death experience or some shit. They're not even the same person. Death on the split, bitch. I'm done. These readings today are scaring the shit out of me. I'm like, wow, first of all, am I really this gifted? Second of all, or am I really this crazy? I'm not sure, but I like it. It's fun. We have death here. This person had a near-death experience or they had like a really close call with death. They're not even the same person. This person went to the sun. They went to the sun. They healed. They went to the light. Their personality is like so charming, so adorable. They know you inside and out. The other two were feminines. This is this this pile is all ma all man okay, or woman. You know, masculine energy is, doesn't have to be gender specific. Something happened to this person. They're not how you remember them. I'm telling you that. If this is somebody that you already know, they're not the same. Okay, they're just not. They're just not. If if it's brand new, you're gonna be so pleasantly surprised. All right, let's find out. Something they enjoy doing. Uh, I heard pleasing you. That's what I heard. Sure as shit did, thank you Jesus. I heard it. I heard it. Pleasing you all day or a day. That's their job, full-time job. Damn. Do they have a brother? You just have them call me, okay? The void, star, and rejoice and celebration. Look, I'm telling you, pleasing you. Rejoice, rejoice. The void and star, I'm telling you, this person literally went to the nothing. They went to the nothingness. They, they, they got their ass handed to them by the divine, okay? You best believe it. I'm getting near death experience here with this card. What do they enjoy doing? Uh, who do they enjoy doing? You, the star. They could be an Aquarius or um, an Aries or a Leo or maybe a King of Cups. 
Mm. Who do they enjoy doing? That's what we need to be asking ourselves, ladies. Oh, justice. They, something about judgment and justice. This person legit went to the other side or something. <laughs> They're not even the same person. This could be a soul walk-in for some of you. I'm a soul walk-in. Um, I'm not the same soul I was before 2019. So your person could be that same way. You could have met this person in 2019 or 2017. Let us see, let us see. What do they enjoy doing? Being your mans. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Being your daddy. Okay, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting that. Being your daddy. <laughs> your big daddy. That is. Oh, honey. With the king of swords, I mean the the knight. Okay, I can't speak. I'm foaming at the mouth right now. Yo, big daddy, <laughs> honey, honey. What is that sound? I don't know. Three of cups, pleasure. I'm just getting celebration, but they love to have fun. They love to have fun. They love to go places. They love to travel. They love to talk about, they love to talk for hours with you, okay? You guys might even be, uh, well, you're both star seeds, that's what I'm hearing. But you guys might actually like to do, um, like, telepathy a lot. <laughs> you might speak telepathically a lot. A lot. For hours on end. Like, this person could just sit there and stare at you and, like, do nothing all day, just stare at you. Ah, oh, they're so in love with you. So your spirit guide is a spirit guide that's been on your team for a long time. They've been on your spirit team for a minute. Their higher self and your higher self are both already together in union. But there's something different about why it's now. Why now, spirit? Ace of Swords. Oh, shit. That's the truth, guys. When I said they went to God, that's the truth. That's why they went to God. This person had, like, an ego death of epic proportions, okay? Um, they're not even the same person legit they've changed a hundred percent not the same person okay they might even have like a fucking accent now or something i'm not sure i'm getting weird vibes with this one like this one is like not weird as in bad weird as in like they're they're cuckoo for cocoa puffs just like i am <laughs> they're so fun you'll really enjoy this person yeah it's it's like it's, i think it's divine union i think that's what it is so meet your new spirit guide. It's really, you've, you've known them for a long time already. This person's so romantic. They're like, so romantic. You guys are like touchy-feely and romantic. Oh God, you have three kings on the table. How did I not see that? Three kings with the emperor. Bitch, yes. Best time of your life coming up. Coming in hot, okay? Coming in something fierce. We don't have the King of Swords, but we do have the Knight of Swords. Okay. Um, let's get a different deck here. The Sun for the third time on the split. You guys, I'm just, I can't. I, I can't. Like, I'm so good at my job. You're welcome. You're welcome. This person is all about you, okay? 24 7. I heard they love your giggle and they love to tickle you as well. Ten of Cups. This is. Guys, I can't. I'm, I, I can't even finish the reading. I'm sorry. It's so beautiful. I hope you have a good day. Bye. <laughs> Look, the emperor and the empress. The magician, ten of cups. You guys are manifesting each other. This is the real deal. This is the real, this is real true twin flame union. No joke. 13, 13 on the clock when I said it. Bitch, yes. That's the death card. 13 is the death card in tarot. This person went, like died. This person legit died. No joke. They died. They died and came back to life or some shit. All right. This is about their credentials. Why did you choose them? Trapped in fear. They might have been to jail or something. Eight of wands. self reflect. Eight, eight, eight. Oh my God. Well, first of all, the only reason you want them, I feel, well, not the only reason, but a big reason is because they are a magician. I know I've been waiting for mine. Pile three's about to get theirs. That's why when you turn on a radio, boom, that song is from their higher self and you know it. I feel like you know it. 888 here. Seven plus one is eight. 888. 
And I swear to God, I don't look at these cards first, guys. I swear to everything. Their credentials is that they know how to work magic in the 3D. They know how. Their higher self knows how to do shit in the 3D to get you to remember them. Some of you, it might even been like a curse. That might have been a curse because you wanted to move on for so long. But I, I feel like you can't. You can't because you're, you're, you're bound to this person. This is your twin flame. This is your twin flame. Oh my God. Guys, I can't. I can't. It's your it's your divine masculine. Big daddy. Big daddy. I'm not kidding when I say that. Like like Oh shit. Well, I need to keep going cuz my phone's about to die. Fuck. All right. This is going to be Why are you working together? Resistance. That's what I heard. Love resistance. Something about you two working together. Because you're like tired of the way that things have been. Look at that. The waiting game hangman. I'm hearing because I'm fucking tired. I'm fed up with the way that things have been. Um, there's a song. Ooh, ooh. The way that things have been. Um, is, it, is it Radioactive by Imagine Dragons? This person's like, we are the resistance. Oh, shit. The way that things have been. Oh. I'm hearing, I'm getting sick and tired and so are you. You both at your 5D level, you're like, I'm getting sick and fucking tired of this world going to shit. How about we step in as star seeds and we handle business? This is an emperor, honey. This is someone who will take charge. You've never seen one like this before. You've never seen a maid like this before. This one broke the fucking mold, okay? Five of Pentacles. I'm hearing, I'm getting sick and tired of watching people in poverty. I'm getting sick and tired of watching people think that love doesn't exist. Death. That's why they had an ego death. They, they died. They died. This person legit had a near-death experience. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Guys, this is the real deal. This is like a true twin flame union. 1,000% yes. True divine counterparts. Physical union. 3D world. Signed, sealed, delivered. This person is like, I am so tired of what they're trying to tell our people. God's people. The people of the divine. I'm so sick and fucking tired of this world teaching people that, well, I don't know. Whatever they teach, guys. They teach a lot of horse shit. And this is going to be how you can get to know this person more. Well, you already know them because you know thyself. This is you. This is you in another body. You're welcome. <gasps> oh my God, no! No. No, I shit you not. The second I said this is a bear, I should have known. This is the, I was seeing a card similar to this in my uh, um, animal deck. This is a brute. Whoever this is, authority again, emperor, 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 and three kings. This is a brute. This is somebody who's like, you, you, you can royally fuck off. Anybody who comes after pile of three, you can royally, you can go fuck yourself. This person doesn't play about you, honey, okay? I need some water. Big daddy, big daddy, big daddy. <laughs> the real true king in the north, okay? Blossoming and six of swords. How can you get to know them more? Just keep being who you are. Just keep being your true authentic self because you're gonna know, you're gonna discover more about you. You're gonna discover more about them. They love your divine femininity. Look, 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 33. This is the number of divine feminine, okay? Also, that's a master, uh, that's an ascended master number too, I think. 33. I think Jesus was 33. He was the ascended master number 33, I think. Guys, don't, I'm trying to remember what that is. It's hard for me right now as I'm channeling, but yeah, this person loves your divine divinity. They love your hair as well. Have you guys felt the need to get like a haircut or something recently? That was them. They're so cute. They're so cute. They love you the way that you are. Because you are a motherfucking star. They love you. They absolutely, this person is so in love with you guys. It is insane. 
Big Zaddy, Big Zaddy. <laughs> oh my God. And they're here to really, diff oh, I gotta go, bye. Okay, never mind. I was just kidding. I thought that this, the uh, water I had on my stove was over boiling. It wasn't. I can keep going. This person is just going to protect you. They love you. They love everything about you. You are so fun for them. You are the perfect thing. And this is going to be Twin Flame Union all the way. They're coming for you. 5%. Fuck. Never mind. I can't give this reading, guys. But I was going to go a little extended because I love you so much. I can't do it. I can't do it. Anyway, this person is in love with you. Absolutely 1,000% in love with you. Ooh, ooh, King of Cups again. They might even be spying on you. Okay, look, Page of Swords. Um, I actually feel you guys are very close to Union. Pile three, this is a spirit guide of yours and it's your soulmate, your twin flame. And they are here to, well, help save the world, just like you are. Oh, the Empress! Guys, come on, come on, come on. It's, it's true, it's true divine union. That's what this one is. That's what this one is. It's, it's beautiful. Everything about this is beautiful and they think everything about you is beautiful too. They just wanna protect you, they wanna defend you and they, they really just wanna honor you. They're so magical. I mean, what I'm getting is like music at the store, that you go in the store and like the song you've been hearing all day, it just plays again on the radio or something or um, they, they love music. It's something about music for you guys. Anyway, I hope this helped. If you want a personal with me, all the information is in the description, guys. I'll talk to you later. Good luck to you. All right, bye-bye.